well, why test? Well, we want to make sure that that hermaphrodite trait isn't occurring. Uh, you know, the, the one that's genetic isn't occurring dominantly. And then we also want to make sure uh, stresses are being done in order to make sure that, hey, if there's light stress given or, or drought stress or, or, or too much nutrient salinity stress, that it's not producing anthers, right? And cutting the growth short, for example, uh, because that's undesirable. Yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, we, we touched on it in a, a recent video about genetic mutations. I don't want to be smoking on pollen. <laughs> I don't care. I'm, I'm not, it's a no nut November for me. I don't want that in my mouth. I think people underestimate the ability of like, oh, it's a rookie mistake. You messed up versus genetic induced or genetic uh, related traits. I think people need to figure out stability with genetics before they launch them so we don't have to stumble on this. So I don't have to be a new grower who gets these genetics who then's like, damn, I just suck at growing. It's like, no, dude, this was from the genetics. Mm -hmm. These were shit genetics. 